Okay, so today is to carry on with the render graph. Probably not any of the more interesting uh, meaty bits, but some side things that kind of have to be done to make things easier to accomplish those ones. So, uh, first things first, what I'm going to be doing is... Yeah, that's the work in progress. I will be simplifying these, or basically turning these into type defs. So that's a nice and little quick thing to do. So what's this custom job? This is the custom um, submit job, basically. So let's move this up here. Type def. That becomes oh, graphic PK custom render graph custom submit. Uh, PFN pointer function. Make sure we got that. So that rolls on down to here. That's a move. Yeah. Okay. And we got one here for the build command buffer. Man, buffer. It's a bit of a mouthful, but there it is. We got that. That that's adding a job. Do I have anything in here to do with that? No, I do not. So let's add that. Let's add that. Am I doing anything with that? Not quite yet. Okay, move on to this side. Okay. PFN, um, not custom, but still command buffer. Custom submit, like that, okay. So we want those two lines to be staged. Moving on down to about here, which is where we use it. Okay, one, two, PFN, po, graphics, GK, fill, command buffer, okay. Stage that. That should be basically the same. So that's just a nice little thing. Make sure that actually works. Not missing a place. There we go. So I'll put that in. So that's it. Commit. Uh, um, long function. was a bit too burdensome more um, verbose than necessary okay so that's that next what's I going to do p resources and stuff okay So what I've got, resource states. Okay, another thing I want to do is to change the render graph job info. Hmm. 
Okay, no, no, no. There was another thing I wanted to do with this, and it was to remove the vectors from this, because this is just uh, passing data through. It's a custom submission. So what I want to do instead is 32T uh, VK semaphore star, which is the weight, UN32 T, PK command buffer star, P command buffer, UN32 T, PK semaphore star. Swap those out, be like that. The weight semaphores, command buffers, and the signal semaphores. Pass those through, so stage those. Go to this side, we'll go to, actually just kind of open up the file itself. Let's kind of shrink that down a bit. What I want to do, it's not here in this file. We're actually going to call it. So it's here. Wait, okay, yeah, wait, semaphores dot size dot data. Um, zero, okay, no, just null pointer, there's nothing there. Signal semaphores size, signal semaphores dot data. Stage that. Because what I want to do is if so that we can have both that and that together. So right now I can't accept, but I will change that. So it's like if um, what is it? Command buffer not equals VK null handle. Then it's one, otherwise zero. And it's and not buffer like that. And I can actually do the same thing here. Dot command buffer count equals that otherwise that becomes this if we get rid of that extra little side and buffer not equals bk no handle one u or zero u front side mm -hmm. Stage those together like that. That's going to work great. Maybe I want to actually custom job function. I just I want to replace that with custom submit all four locations. that that many times okay we'll just kind of add those changes to the previous commit that I had so that mm -hmm. that so stage those to make things a bit more readable a bit more trackable so I can actually fit it in my in my mind otherwise I'll lose it uh, without that we change that this becomes that those locations great this is nothing to do with it that's that. This is this. Here. We're only looking for this line in the middle of it. Yep. That's this. Okay, this needs to be this for the moment. 
I can actually stage test that. Just make sure I don't have. Okay. Get picks up. Okay. Now onto the one I'm working on now, which was. Uh, this, we're expanding that out like that. That's still that. Going on down to here, we got all this. Those are just moving the things around, that's fine. Hmm. Make sure it's not breaking anything, which it looks to be doing. Because... I need to update this, except the new extra stuff, which is this. Okay. Wait, I'm uh, four. Signal semaphore. Okay, we got all that. We go down to here. Okay. So, signal semaphore. Okay. Extra semaphore equals that. If we don't necessarily always need this, we only need this if we need the custom extra submit stuff because we're we have to either we have command buffers to run, or which we really shouldn't, or we'll have to signal things because through VK present does not have the option to signal. Just await. So if uh, command buffer count is greater than zero, or signal semaphore count is greater than zero, then we can do this thing where we go do down to this point. So this. Extra signal, uh, extra semaphore. That only creating this if we need it. But otherwise, wait. Um, wait. Count. We got a weight mask for the number of. Uh, it's a weight mask. The weight mask is this. This needs to be at least as big. Do I need weights? No, I don't need it here. I need it in here, though. Vector of that, which is that, times wait, weight, sigma four down, times. So that many times of that, so weight seven weight mask dot data that should match the weight semaphore count. That's great. We go to the signal semaphore, which is going to be just the extra semaphore. That's it. So then becomes if extra semaphore is not okay, null handle. That means we're using. Extra simple four, so it's one U. 
otherwise becomes weight sum of all count. And then we've got the same thing kind of going down down here. Becomes an extra semaphore, otherwise becomes P weight semaphores. Uh, R2. Mm, let's make sure that's going to work. This is the only custom submit. So I only have to do it here. No, that didn't work because the fence. I have a fence here. If fence, what do you call that? Then we also need to do that. Hmm, there we go. Okay, so. Uh, or image was it no present we've got this stuff that's been added that stage okay is there anything else with respect to these things i want to do i could add fence so i can pass the fence through that instead and have it come out there instead I mean, it would make sense. There's less things to, yeah. So I need a fence. Uh, that means I need to pass it through this somewhere. Oh, I already do. I'm just not. I, mean, I just wasn't using it. That's okay. Let's make sure I actually pass under there's the fence, pass that through. I just need to actually just give it out. Okay. P job fence, whatever it may be. And on this side, DK fence. Okay. Not into okay, yeah. Put that in. Um expanded render blah, blah. expanded render graph custom submit function calls. Accepts parameters. No C plus plus ones. Also include um man buffers name to be okay Okay, what have we got? So this is back to the render graph states and stuff. Is there anything else I want to do before I didn't add that? Let's 
fix that up later. So this is back to, yeah. Okay, having the transition stuff here isn't going to work. I need to do like some kind of uh, separate, I can't do it on the fly there. I don't have quite enough information to make good judge, bad judgments as to how to, because I only have one-to-one -one relationships for these things, right? I have the resource and I have all the upstream jobs, but each of those upstream jobs may have pulled in the same resource from other jobs, not just from the one that's being processed right now. So like, and that could very quickly balloon into like going, you know, back and forth, you know, upstream, downstream, upstream, you know, or yeah, upstream, downstream, upstream, downstream, just over and over and over again. Without, and that would be a whole lot of jumping around and a lot of comparisons that I really should not do. Especially not here. I need to do like actual, I need to have a better approach than that. Um, validate desired resources, downstream jobs. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, do the pickups. Okay. So, uh, what do I want to do now is let's go to the header. Uh, this render graph. One thing I have to deal with that I will have to deal with is the fact that. Hmm. For each resource that I bring in, I only currently have one upstream job, which is not going to always be the case. I'll always, I'll like very quickly. I'll definitely want to have be able to synchronize. Like this job has to run after you know these two or three or whatever jobs you know, because let's say they write they they modify it or I'm going to modify it. They're reading, I modify and something like that. Whatever I. You know, supporting one, not enough. So, 132T, uh, upstream job count. So, this becomes star the upstream jabs. Okay, we do that. We're going to go ahead and take that to this side. Change render graph to that. Uncommitted changes. Sorry, what? Change render graph resources to manage tables. Whatever. This side, I need to go up to here or so, and I need to do, it's not per, I need to go through a bunch. Since that was just one. So for each resource, I need to go through like four. J to zero, J is less than resource state dot dot count. Gotta do this like that. Okay. So the upstream job becomes this P upstream jobs J. Do that a bunch of times. Okay. That means I in here I need I need to do modify these old jobs to support that. So going down here, p job info? No, resources. Dot upstream job count equals one, and this becomes 
of team jobs equals n like that one two okay paste that paste that copying image yes exporting of an image there is yeah one job uh when i'm importing there's no upstream stuff, so that goes away. Hmm. Yeah, it's not upstream for this. Present. I got one thing for that. Okay, moving on down to here. The old swap chain resource state, there's no So this is introducing the swap chain. So yeah, that's that's correct. Am I missing something? Import swap chain. Is there no swap chain X? Nothing to. It's just an image swap. Okay. It's just a. Oh, right. Because it's just exported. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Moving on down to about here. A couple of these. See if that compile that. Make sure it runs. Still good, seemingly. Let me just uh, double check with uh, Vulcan validation that it's still mostly good. Through and through. Yes. It is no real Vulcan specific stuff. Just the thing talking about uh, the devices available. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, put all of that now. What to do about? Renograph relationships. Because this. Okay. Close all. Oh, it just opened up this file. This isn't really going to work great. Because I don't know. Upstream, I don't know what. The resource I'm referencing is for each of these upstream things. I'd have to do a comparison between the two sets, which is not going to just not. What about this? Render graph downstream job. This is a bit better. This is pointing at. Okay, so the little flavor stuff is kind of done now. I'm kind of back to the the uh, hard part. All right, well, there's not enough information to go both ways on this. Upstream. Let's see. Going uh, downstream and back upstream. There's just not enough information to make a solid choice here. Like, it's just not linked to, okay, these need to be inside the resources, right? So it'd be like, you know, these are the resources that are used.
from a job, the resource, let me get rid of that. The resource needs to have, like what? It has to be able to link both upstream and downstream. Perhaps, so something like, So these are the upstream jobs for upstream resources, standard vector. Not just the job, because then if I just link to the job, then I need to go through the resource, its resources to find the matching thing. That may, I mean, I could, is that going to be fast enough? I don't think so. I mean, it, it'll be fast enough, but it could be too complex. I'm not going to have... Okay, what about resource state? What if I link to these? Downstream. I can go upstream. I can do downstream. This is the resource state. But it's not just the state. I also, okay, I need two things inside of here. I need to say, hey, you know, what's the render graph job that I belong to? Okay. And I need two resource states. So another resource, obviously. And then I need the, uh, this. It's our P incoming state. And the outgoing state. Whether or not it's read only here, mm, that would be based on the states, right? Maybe. No, not necessarily, because it, it could start in a read only state, transition into an immutable state, and transition back to a read only state before coming back out. So I still need a separate read only. Like this, it has links to the jobs. Okay. Let's kind of run with this, I think, for the moment. Yeah, okay, for the moment, let's make modifications for this to work like that. So we've got this, read only, P resource, okay. Yeah. This job equals p new job dot get incoming state equals resource state dot incoming p outgoing comma that that okay. Now, I no longer need quite resources. For each one of these, I need to find the upstream job. For each of the upstream jobs, I need to go to the upstream. And I need to find, right? I need to find a specific resource thing. I think. Yeah. So. Job resource state. Equals null pointer. I need to go through for auto and upstream job uh, resources I need to go through that dot p resource equals the resource I have resource state dot p resource say what is it, oh, right. Yep, 
if that equals that, then we found the one we're looking for. So P upstream resource state is going to equal and upstream that. We break out of that. We move on down to here. We're going to go through the P upstream source state going to its downstream is going to be the oh no this is a vector but this is a vector that i know the size of right yeah yeah uh, reserve uh size of job info resource count so that so as i place things on that like they're not going to move they're going to be they're going to be created in place. They're not going to move from that point. So I can in place back whatever the current e new job resources i. So that's the upstream. And then the current one which is what I'm working on, which is this. This uh, resources dot upstream equals P upstream resource state. Or not in place back. All right. I'm thinking that's going to be a little bit better. Auto P upstream job. I need to, so it's not. Oh, I need to go through all the resources. So auto. Resource. I need to go through all of the upstreams of those before. Start upstream. If. Or I just say like P upstream resource. I need to add the job. If P upstream resource state uh, job process not process. Then two process start in place. that moving on down to here we've got to go through what four if so this is on a per resource base now for auto hmm So it's a multiplex, right? Yeah, yeah, it's P downstream resource. I gotta go through two iterations. I gotta go through the resources first. resources okay this does not quite feel right either but it feels better like i'm getting closer to the, the what the final uh code is going to look like not quite there yet but i feel like i'm getting closer i'm getting more and more of the problem space kind of squared away and figured out
which is unfortunate because I hate having to kind of bounce back and forth trying to think of things. Um, dang it. Right downstream. Downstream resource, we've got to go auto. Downstream resource dot P jobs. I've got to do this. Like that. Okay, make sure that's not going to break. And, uh, the actual stuff is still using the old method anyways. At least make sure that like this is not going to work. Unfortunately. Why? Okay. Resource state. We're going through job new resources. Is this this is null? Okay. That's very not. That's not. Okay. Let's have a little look. If this is uh, supposed to be never happening, so let's find out why. Great, I'm here. I'm what's what's the job? I'm on the copy rendered image to back buffer. For each resource, one, okay, uh, what, what version am I on? I'm on J of zero, so I'm on the first one. It's the upstream job equals import presentation image. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm, I got that. This thing has... Sorry. No resources. The, what, what was it? Upstream, right? Import presentation image. Does not. Import an image. I have an outgoing state. I have that. Okay, let's see why I'm not pinging source. There's no pre, yeah, okay, let's just go ahead. Okay, we're here, going through, we're gonna go down to about here. So here we have, what? One resource, we're adding it. So P new job resources. I'm gonna place that. What specific job are we on? Mm -hmm. So upstream, that's right. So this was, what's the new job? New job, get import rendered image. This is the one, yeah. So I do have the resource. Has been added. It's got stuff. No upstream, no downstream, that makes sense, okay. I carry on and do whatever else. Moving on.
we have to get down to here, where this has resources, two resources, yeah. If I'm on the second one, on the second one, On the second of the resources, I'm on the upstream job count of this. There's only one. So I've got the job, which is the import presentation image, which has no resources. Why? Where did it go? Did I... Missing something. Import presentation image, right? No, this is not the one I'm looking. Import presentation image. Hold on. That is that different? Yes, it is. Oh, it's not importing an image. It's importing a presentation image. It is slightly different. Okay. I need basically this. Undergraph job move. That. This moves down to about there. This is the swap chain resource. This is the image state. This. equals that uh, dot resource count You're not going to break now, right? Uh, yeah. Great. Let's also make sure I'm not uh, leaking any memory, or not too much. Leaking a little bit from here, because of not deleting it. which is something I can definitely live with. Because that's a very easy leak to deal with. And done. Render graph, render graph. Back up to here. This is kind of going okay. Am I okay with this? Is this going to be enough? Do I bring Hmm I'm not entirely sure how, like this is better. This is a much better, like having the upstream and downstream in the resource state, job resource state is better, but I'm not entirely 100% with it. Just not. Hmm. 
<laughs> All right, I'm going to leave it there for now. So I really... If I try to move forward from here, I, I don't really have any extra good grasp on how to move forward from here. I know there is, this is a better, there's a better path forward from here. I'm just not quite sure what it is yet. So until next time, cheers.